So if you've been around social media, you probably have been seeing a couple of these videos going viral lately of people squishing themselves, blowing things up, cutting realistic things that look like cake, crushing things, and much more. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create one of these for yourself. It's actually easy to do and it's absolutely free. I'm also going to show you how you can use this beyond creating memes for social media and actually adding this to your real workflow, like creating magic style videos and also using this for low budget, sometimes cheap looking but quite effective VFX that you can add to your projects. So let's get straight to it. To get started, you simply want to head over to Pika and that website is pika.at. I've covered this tool previously on the channel for how you can use this for other types of animations, uh, but I'm going to show you their new Pika effect tool. And if you look through on their homepage, they have a couple of examples of this effect. So let's see this one right here. So this is sort of like a magic disappearance effect. Uh, this is a disintegrating effect, sort of like a Thanos. Uh, this is of a building crumbling, so you can see how that is. And um, let's look at another one. So we have this, it's a deflecting effect. Pretty cool. So they have a couple of this effect and I'm gonna show you how you can create one for yourself. It's quite simple, just go right here where it says describe your story and where it says image, click on that to upload any image you wanna use. So I have this image right here of this gentleman and we're gonna try the squish it effect on him. So I'm gonna select him and then I'm also gonna select from the effects here, as you can see we have various effects. I'm gonna select the squish it effect. This could be a boyfriend who ghosted you and you wanna pay him back with a squishy animation or whatever reason you have. So I'm gonna select that. While it generates, I want to show you right here that when you create an account, you get about 150 credits per month and each creation cuts about 10 credits. So you have about 15 videos you can do each month for free on the free plan, which is not bad. All right, so that has finished processing and this is what that looks like right now. So I'm going to do the same with a young kid and I'm going to try the elevate effect. This could be a cool effect for your kids. I'm sure they'll be amused. So elevate it and generate and let's turn on the sound. Yeah, and you can see the superhero kid floating in the air. I'm sure this is going to be pretty cool for your kids. They might be impressed with that. Next, let's talk about some fun ways you can use this for social media style videos. If you think about magic kind of videos, travel videos and things like that. Let me show you a few options. For our first example, let's do a cool magic effect. What you want to do is go ahead and record yourself standing idle for a few seconds and then just do a thumbs up or anything else that you want to do after your magic trick is revealed and cut it right there. Next, you want to get that video, drag it into any video editing software. In my case, I'm using Premiere Pro. Go to the very first frame when the video starts and you want to export that still frame as an image. This is what we're going to take to Pika Labs and animate it. So I'm calling mine first frame. So I'm going to head over to Pika Labs and right here at the bottom, I'm going to upload the image we just exported and apply that very effect that you see right there. And this is what the results look like. It's a little bit creepy, but it could be a fun effect to use and post on social media. So I would download this video and take that back to Premiere Pro. All right, so I've pulled that in right here to Premiere Pro. Uh, let's play that. I'm gonna um, duplicate the video. So you could just copy and paste. That's an easy way to do this. And then for the last one right here, I'm gonna reverse it. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna reverse it. So speed duration and then reverse so that the head goes back. So if I play it, it looks something like this. All right. And then now I'm gonna put, remember the first video that we did that we took a still frame and then did a thumbs up? I'm gonna just put that back right here. So if we do that in total, it's gonna look like a magic effect like so. All right, next, let me show you another effect that you can do with this for social media. We're gonna do a travel transition from one location to another in a very cool way using the peel effect from Picolabs. Let me show you what that looks like. And obviously, since I'm in the studio right now, I actually don't have travel footage to show you how this works, but I'm gonna use an app called Sky Glass to put myself in a virtual environment and show you what this would look like.
So for this one, what you want to do is film yourself in the first location and end with a thumbs up, right? So that's going to be a still image. So now when you start from the second location, make sure you start with a thumbs up because that's the second transition we're getting into. So just the way we did with the magic trick in whatever video editing software you're using, you want to take a still frame of when you did the thumbs up in the first video and a still frame from when you did the thumbs up in the second video. Now take these two individual images to pick a labs and use the peel effect. So on the first video, it's going to peel you out. And then on the second video, it's also going to peel you out. Now get the two videos and bring them into your editing software. So for the first video, you want to bring it in and drag it right next to that point where you did a thumbs up, where we took the still shot. So it's going to look like this. You're going to play it. It's going to be thumbs up and then it's going to peel you out. Now get the second video of you being peeled out and put it right next to this one. So what you want to do is reverse it so it happens in the reverse. So in my case, I'm going to right click and go to speed duration and do reverse. So it's going to play backwards. So it's going to unpeel us back. Then now we want to get that uh, second video where we started with a thumbs up and put that right next to it. So we now have four videos, a video of us in the first location, then a video of us being peeled out of the first location, then the video of us being peeled into the next location and then the video of the actual next location. So you have these four videos and when you put them together, it looks like this. Now, if you want to make it look fancy the way I did in the demo, there's a lot more steps involved in that. And this video is going to be too long for me to uh, break all of that down. But if you're a member of the channel, I'm going to put a link to a longer video that breaks down step by step how I did that, including all the templates that I used for that project. So I'm going to give you that template for free. You can download it and do the same with your own pictures and replicate the same. So if you're a member, just check down in the description. There's going to be a link to a video, a much longer video that explains step by step how I did that. All right, so next, let's talk about how you can use this in some of your projects that go beyond means for social media. So for example, I'll show you how we can use this to do a simple kind of low budget VFX to explode a car. So I have a scene here where a guy is running and the cops are chasing. And we're just going to have somebody press a button and the car is going to explode. So using the same concept, I took the video of the car, got it to the point where I wanted it to explode. And then on Premiere Pro, I simply exported a still picture of that particular part of the video. I took this to Pika Labs, um, uploaded it and used the explode effect. Now I took the generated video and pulled it back in here uh, to Premiere Pro. So at this point where the car paused, uh, where I did like the freeze frame, I'm going to drag that video from Pika Labs and put it right here and then expand it. So now when the video plays and it gets to that point, we're going to have the car explode as you can see. Now the rest of it is just adding additional videos like I have the video of the guy running, we could have a video of a guy pressing a button, add some sound effects and you have something like this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do one more example. So I have this video here of a hamster eating an apple. So I have this idea where the hamster eats the apple, it's dangerous, then it inflates and blows up. So what I'm going to do is same like we did at this spot right here where I want it to inflate. I'm going to just do a frame hold, take a steal of that, uh, brought this into Photoshop. I separated the hamster and the apple as two separate uh, images and then just uh, did a green screen background for the hamster and I'll show you why. So I took that green screen background, put it into Pika Labs and had it do the inflate effect. So bringing that back into Premiere Pro and I have two layers. The top one is this green screen of the hamster exploding. Now the bottom is the clean slate of my apple. So I'm going to use an effect right here, which is the ultra key. I'm just going to drop that in here and uh, select the green background. So that takes it out. And you can do this with whichever software that you have. I'm just doing this with Premiere Pro again, like most modern softwares today have that. So that aligns properly to where that is. So as you can see right now, it inflicts and goes right up perfectly. Okay. Uh, so if I play that back, it eats that and it inflates and goes right back up. 
But I need to keep a little bit more interesting. So I wanted this to look like it's a lab somewhere. So I generated um, this image again using AI um, of two scientists in the lab looking through a window. And I just asked it to put a green screen. So in the same way too, I'm going to remove the green with the ultra Cree effect. And right here at the bottom layer, as you can see at the back, I had just put uh, the video of our hamster. That's what we have at the back. If I turn this off, we just have that video of our hamster expanded with Photoshop. I used Photoshop generative fill to expand it. To make it look like, to make it look more like a window, I went here and did a color mat and chose white. And uh, so that's what I've put right here, dragged and put right here at the bottom. So if I unlock that, it's a white. I just used the, our Luma key to drag the temperature to be a little bit cooler. So it kind of looks like they're looking through a window. And then if we play that, you see it goes through the window and then I cut to the uh, hamster eating that and then it inflicts. And the final thing looks like this. Those were just a few examples to spark your thoughts as to what's possible using this tool. The possibilities are endless. Like here's another example I did of the Thanos snap effect, which you could create with your videos and have a friend as a cool thing to share on social media. So the possibilities are endless and I'd like to see some of the things you've created using this if you ever use some of these techniques. Feel free to tag me on any of my social medias if you do share any of this. Uh, I'll put those down in the description. If you enjoyed this video in any way, give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way in helping the channel and make sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming out on AI video generation, animation, and other cool stuff. I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you keep learning.